All right, I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate your quick 861 DW for the right temperature here. So I have my quick 861 DW. When I first got my uh, my hot air station, I turned the heat all the way up to 500 degrees Celsius, which is the maximum, and um, it still wasn't hot enough. So I was I was this close to returning it until uh, I emailed the manufacturer and asked them uh, that that it wasn't hot enough, and so they 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 uh, told me how to calibrate it because I don't think the manual has any instructions on how to calibrate it. So this is how you do it, all right? And this is how it was explained to me. And, and ever since I calibrated it, it works awesome now. So turn it on. Um, and as you can see, I have my I have my Unity uh, UT60H, which has a thermocouple on it. So I have this little thing right here. Sorry about this, but I got the webcam here. So I have a thermocouple on it with this little tip right here which measures the temperature, okay? So So here you go here. Uh So, okay, so here's here's what you do. You got to lift it from the handle, get it going. I have mine set at 300 degrees Celsius. Um, I have a six millimeter nozzle with an air airflow of 10. Okay, 300 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what I want to do is, um, you know, my normal working distance between the tip and my logic board is probably, you know, between a half an inch or something like that to an inch, right around there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, so here's what you do. Okay, you got to hold. You got to hold these two buttons right here, the channel one and channel three, until it says calibrate. There you go, calibrate. Okay, now you can you can change the temperature here. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, you got to use the. I think. No, oh, that says save. Okay, hold on a sec. Dang it. I'm trying to get to the other digits. I'm not quite sure how to do that. It's got to be one of these, right? Or maybe it's this. Nope. It's got to be the air then. There he goes. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm at 300 degrees Celsius, and what I'm going to do now is um, basically hold my let's see, hot air here. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see it or no? No? I'll go like this. How about that? This is so ghetto. All right, you got to see it. So what I'm going to do is hold my tip here. Try not to burn anything, and um, and I'm just gonna hold my tip to it, so it's the air's coming out. Okay, you can you can barely hear it, but you can kind of see that I'm at 280. I'm about probably half an inch away, 280 right now. So I really could. So let's see. So it's at 230 now. I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible. So, the closer I hold it, the hotter it gets. So now I'm 300, and this is really right outside of the tip, okay? Right near the tip. So if I hold it just a little bit further away, it's gonna de the temperature is going to decrease a little bit. All right? So that's kind of how I have mine set right now. All right? So that's kind of how I like it, all right? And also, it takes probably about, give it about 15 seconds for the, um, for the blower to come on and the heat, heat to to start working okay so as you can see right now I'm probably a good half an inch away and I'm getting about 330 degrees Celsius now alright so that's just about I have mine set the way I want it so I'm not going to change anything but what you want to do is you know if it says like 100 or something like that if it says like 100 or something like that then you want to go over here and uh... 
So what you want to do is go over here and uh, you know do the calibration, right? So so it says calibrate, and then you just kind of move these to the digits. And let's say if it says 200, so you just go over here and just say 200. Let's say let's say it's 220 or something like that. 220, okay? And then you just and then you. Just once you push, uh, once you're done, you you say uh, channel two here, and then boom. So 300, it's going to be a lot hotter for me now, which I don't really want. But uh, so anyway, so that's how you calibrate your hot air station. Okay, uh, definitely do that before before you uh, start working with it because um, because yeah, I mean that that'll kind of give you the true temperature, you know. So. You know, when people say, oh, how hot is your hot air station? It really varies because if you don't have it calibrated, then, you know, it's going to show something different. You see what I'm saying? So mine is probably a little bit off, which is why I'm, I'm at 450 degrees Celsius. But when I tell people that I'm at 450 degrees Celsius, they say, oh, man, that's way too hot. You know, and most people go at 380 or less, you know. But listen, it all varies, you know. I mean, it's, it's all going to be based on uh, the calibration of your machine. You, you see what I'm saying? So... So anyways, once you have it set, and the, really, the only thing you really have to worry about is to make sure that it's hot enough, you know, I mean, uh, if you're at 500 degrees Celsius and it still doesn't work, then it's not hot enough, you know, so you can really calibrate it to whatever you want, really, you know, um, it doesn't have to be the true temperature, you know, it just has to be hot enough, so anyway, so that's how you calibrate a quick 861DW, I would do that as soon as you get it out of the box, most people probably don't have a, a thermocouple, um, so I don't know. I I think you can probably just try to melt something uh, and see if it melts or not. If it doesn't, then just lower it by 100 degrees Celsius and then and then you know kind of adjust your uh, calibrate it by 100 degrees Celsius and just kind of muck with it there. All right. Thanks for watching.